announcing four new phones in just the last month, you could say Motorola is on quite the roll. And the latest Verizon Droid just arrived on our doorstep. In case you didn't recognize me without the hat, I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our unboxing of the Motorola Droid Ultra. So in the last month alone, Motorola has announced four new phones, and four of those four are available on Verizon. The Droid Mini, the Droid Ultra, the Droid Max, and the Moto X. And we're kind of asking why all four need to exist on one carrier, but that doesn't really matter. We have the, I guess, staple of those four devices right here in front of us, the Droid Ultra. And this will be available, or no, it is available now as of August 20th on Verizon for $200 with a contract or about $25 a month with the Edge plan. So we are getting into the packaging. That is all in our bubble wrap. Um, more bubble wrap. And as you can see here, this is your typical droid branding, boxing, and everything. It's, it's what we've seen a million times from Motorola and Verizon, your droid with your droid eye. So without further ado, let's get in the box and we'll talk about specs and everything in just a second. See what's inside. So very easy to open. Uh, this is the phone. We'll set that aside, of course. Um, some ingress, uh, I guess paraphernalia advertising saying that you should play Ingress, which is a MMO for Android users. It's pretty cool. I've played it a little bit, but uh, not really my thing. Inside, we get more paperwork. We get to know your phone, global support and information, important consumer information, product and safety, and warranty information. It's a lot of remedial material if that's your sort of thing. We also have your standard micro USB cable. We have an AC power adapter, and more cardboard, pasteboard, and stuff. So that's really all that's in the box. Nothing special, no headphones or anything, just your normal information and power supply. So that's all inside the box. Nothing fancy. Cool stuff, I guess. Whatever, we'll set that aside. This is what we really care about. The phone, the Droid Ultra. So, like all the other Droid devices uh, from Motorola this time around and the Moto X, this one has an integrated battery, so no removable battery, which is the same as the Razors and all of that. Um, this one has a 2130 milliamp hour battery inside, so it's actually smaller than its smaller sibling, which is the Moto X. This one has a 2200 milliamp hour battery. This one has 2130, and its specifications are pretty much in line with the Moto X, um, except for the fact that this one only comes in 16 gigabytes. Its display is 5 inches versus 4.7, and uh, the rest is pretty much the same. They both have a 10 megapixel camera. Um, they have the X8 computing system from Motorola, which is a 1.7 gigahertz dual-core Crate CPU, Adreno 320 GPU, and two dedicated processors, one for motion and other sensing, and the other is for natural language processing for your touchless control. Um, let's get the plastic off here. It looks like the plastic that's not going to make a whole lot of noise. We'll move it over here. No noise, really. Unfortunately, we'll get the other plastic stuff off as well. One off the camera. And I believe that's about it. There's some fuzz up here. But other than that, there's not a lot different here from, from actual the, the, the Razer brand. Um, earpiece, your standard buttons here, which are not on screen like the Moto X, are actually capacitive. You've got task switching home back, volume rocker, and your power switch on the right side. You've got a speaker grill around the camera, which is pretty nice. Some uh, some some aluminum trim for your Moto or your Motorola logo. Headphone jack on the top. Uh, nothing on the left edge and your micro USB port on the bottom. And as far as hardware goes, that's really all there is to it. Um, one thing we'll note is I've been holding this device for about two or three minutes now, and it is absolutely covered in fingerprints. Like Samsung's devices, it has a very slick polished back on the backside. It's, it's plastic and, and very slick. Uh, so it's a fingerprint magnet, which is Pretty unfortunate, but you can see there's a, a significant size difference between the Moto X and the Droid Ultra. And if we power this thing on really quickly, hopefully it's got a charge. It does. Motorola, a Google company. So, so this is the new Motorola. If 
if you haven't realized that yet. So no Razer branding, just Droid Ultra. And uh, if we get it powered on here, we'll see that there is a fairly significant difference in size in the display. And that's one reason it's, it's kind of uh, amplified because this has on-screen buttons, but we're not here to do a comparison. This has been the unboxing of the Droid Ultra. Stay tuned, there's gonna be a full review and some comparisons, one with the Moto X and with other flagships. There'll be a lot of coverage for a lot of different stuff next week, but this one will be uh, what I'll be focusing on a review and comparisons for the Droid Ultra. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more coverage in the next few days and weeks. That's going to do it. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and let us know. Subscribe to see future videos, which will include Droid Ultra coverage over the next week, as well as EFA coverage. Michael and Anton will be on the ground in Berlin. So stay tuned for that, and be sure to follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech. I'll see you next time.